Hello guys, welcome to another Honda Element video. Today I am with... My name is Don and this is my 2004 DX. Well, Don, please uh, show us your Element. Okay, well I got this from an original owner in Pasadena and he took really good care of it, so that was great. And my whole goal on this was to be able to just bug out, take off for a weekend or, or leave real quick. I do a lot of... Uh, commuting to the northwest so I drive up and down I-5 and I can stay at rest areas or campgrounds on the way and I'm actually a, a, an IKEA cabinet installer so I used a lot of the IKEA parts to make this build and right here as you can see I've got my my bed platform on top of a couple of IKEA cabinets over here and this is actually a material called multi-ply which is extremely strong it's a 13 ply with laminate on both sides it's available in, every, in any color so if you have an interior you want to match you're in, you're in good shape this is a little expensive it was it's two hundred dollars a sheet but i was able to use this sheet for my bed my cabinet and a lot of other things so i still have some left actually i've also got these lightweight boxes that just collapse but they're they're great they've got a little wire frame in there so they hold everything together and these are my, right now, are going to be my, my, I just run this bungee cord around the whole perimeter and hang these with clothespins, but I really want to get the window shades that fit properly. That's eventually on the list as well. And the rest is just storage and food and whatever else, actually. Nice. And I've got this, this live edge actually comes from Big Bear. I was doing a project and these were just scraps. So I went ahead and did some floating shelves in here. Obviously, I don't drive with it like this and it's more for uh, display and fun and i noticed you have like some vintage like equipment like that yes yes this is my uh, my grandparents vintage camping camping equipment that i like to use and just keep it in the car kind of a retro you know bone in my body <laughs> i can tell also you have like the retro stereo like the speaker yes, yes. and then this coleman so this is the Coleman, and behind here I keep my, uh, behind here I actually keep my, my stove, my, or my little butane stove goes in there, mm -hmm. which is, I'm sure a lot of people run those. So this area is like your kitchen area, right? Uh, yeah, normally it is, because usually I carry a, uh, a hitch rack with a box on it, and I use the box for my, my table, actually. And uh, when that happens, when I'm carrying that, it actually comes out here and I can sit on the tailgate and work from the uh, hitch box. Nice. But this is a, a drop down, a drop down desk or desk or table that I made from the same material as the tree over there. That's kind of cool. That looks pretty nice too. And in here I've got, uh, since I'm a, t uh, a contractor, I've got a uh, Makita tools. So I end up using this Makita coffee pot to actually do my coffee. So. Uh, it works out pretty well. I don't really need electricity, but I can at least have a couple uh, a couple cups of coffee. Uh, I've got a power, little tiny power cell here, which is enough for me for a few things. It just does all the lighting and the USB fan if it's warm and a few other things like that, but it's just a, a great little size. If I were to do more of this, I'd have to get a bigger one, but for right now it works really good. And the doors and the cabinets are just storage. There's nothing in there now. I would eventually like to do some sort of a shock cord net above there to keep things in. I'm still, it's kind of a work in progress, but it sure is fun so far. This is a, uh, just one of those trifold four inch mattresses. Super comfortable actually. Is that like a four or five inch? It's a four inch mattress. And the length on this finished finished deck I did is actually 99 inches so nice it's it, perfectly it for a along, tall guy it for a tall guy and actually when this isn't here and I'll go ahead and take that off mm -hmm. um, I actually hauled two by fours on top of this I can I hauled 24 two by fours on top of this deck if you want to see nice yeah that's what it is guys it's two and also it was very genius like the way you build it that is a bed but also it works as your center console right it does it does so i and i i designed it so that i could still use the arm on the, the the factory arm on the seat 
And I was going to ask you, Miguel, if it, you think it'd be possible to put a swivel, actually, yes. with that with this bed in place. Would it still work, or would it be? Too I think tough? it should work. Yeah. I think it should work. We can always try it. So that'd be great. Yeah, because that's that's one of the things I would really like. We can work together because I really like your cabinet. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I've been shopping around for a cabinet, so we can try services. Sure, that'd be, that'd be great. <laughs> your but car looks super clean. I mean, it is. Yeah, I was lucky to get one in this good of shape. He took good care of it. Took it, had it serviced all the time. I've done just the uh, the normal stuff. I chased a leak a couple times and got that fixed, and then the normal brakes, struts, everything, but just factory stuff. Because it's a two-wheel drive, I wasn't going to get too crazy. I would like to do the lights, fog lights, and the... Uh, and the headlights? And the headlights, though. I could. I would like to do that. And you were telling me earlier something about, like, when you build this, you were thinking about your front seat, right? Yes, I don't I don't want to, didn't want anything to, to push any pressure on the seat. So the biggest part of my build was figuring this contraption out right here. It actually holds up goes under the seat and holds up the, the platform bed I see. and then it's locked in it never comes forward to hit the dash or anything okay, so so it, it works out really pretty well it's re, it's really more super stable and also you put some like carpet here just yes. to like don't yes. scratch your that's, car that's just in case I it can't get in the glove box I guess that's one flaw but yeah. usually I make sure I have my uh, my license and all that stuff out of there so this is like a mostly like a one person setup. It is a one person setup. I yeah. was trying to figure out how to do two, some kind mm -hmm. of a flip. You could probably figure out a way to do two yes. in there. A and then bit. it looks pretty stealthy, your car. It does. Yeah, it, it does. looks like clean and looks like you take care, good care of it. And also you got some storage here, right? I mean, like you can storage the stuff. Oh yeah, you side. can put, still put stuff everywhere. I mean, mm -hmm. I hardly put anything in right now. This is just a regular old black rug I cut down. To, to fit the uh, to fit the floor. This is one of the most like simple but super efficient setups, and also I like the quality of the wood that you use and the touches that you have, like oh, with the you. folding table. You know, oh, is you. it looks oh, it very nice. Build. Everything is scaled down, but it was uh, it took a while with cardboard and and a sharpie to try to get the contours correct. But it, that's part of the fun. Yeah, it was a... Will you offer any of these like cabinets or build setup if anybody is interested in uh, the local? Well, you, you know, I never thought about it, but yeah. it'd probably be more like maybe a pattern for it more than build. But I, I mean, I do this is this is what I do for a living, so it's yes. pretty easy for me. Um, I will uh, leave your Instagram in the description if people is interested. You know, yeah, sure never know. Yeah. So yeah, this is uh, Dan setup, guys. Dan, thank you so much. Your setup is clean. Thank you so you much. You inspired me again to do the cabinet. Well, thanks for having the meetup out here. This was wonderful. My first one and the first time I got to show off my element and there's more to come. So. What is the best part of your element? What is the, the one that you will say, okay, I like this part the most of in my, my setup? Element. I like my yes. cabinet. The cabinet? Okay. I, think, I think it turned out well. And that folded table is like... Yeah, should, should I open it up and down? Sounds good. Yeah, let's yeah. see how it opens it just and closes. Right and and then it locks by itself, right? Like it does. I put I run bungee cords as I travel. Yes. I mean, I'm safe, and I, if there's anything in there, it'll stay in when I do that as well. Cool. But yeah, it just it's mostly a friction fit, but it's so far it's ran pretty well. Sounds good. Yeah. Done. Thank you so much. Thank you. I had a blast. Guys, and see you next Honda Element video. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Yeah.